This is an old limestone quarry at Temple Grafton in Warwickshire's Avon Valley, not far from Stratford-upon-Avon and Ulster. The photo was taken about 10 years ago when the rock faces were being cleaned up by the Warwickshire Geological Conservation Group. The limestone was quarried back in the 19th and early 20th centuries as a source of walling stone, flagstones, gravestones and lime for the fields. The limestone layers represent seafloor mud deposited in a shallow sea at the dawn of the Jurassic period, roughly 200 million years ago. Many interesting fossils were found in this quarry and others nearby. Many of these fossils are preserved in Warwickshire Museum's collections and some are on display at the Market Hall Museum in Warwick. This is a leaf of a fossil plant from the old quarries. This type of plant, looking a little like a modern cycad, thrived in the warm humid climate of the early Jurassic. Because the limestone also contains fossil sea creatures, we know that this leaf must have drifted in from nearby land. This is the fossilised wing case of a beetle. It provides further evidence for life on nearby land. The label is in the handwriting of the Reverend Peter Brody, curator of the Market Hall Museum in the latter part of the 19th century and an expert in the study of fossil insects. This beautiful fossil in the Market Hall Museum display is the complete skull of a fossil ichthyosaur, also from the old Binson quarries. Ichthyosaurs were among the top predators of Warwickshire's Jurassic Seas. They were reptiles that looked a little bit like modern dolphins. Like modern reptiles, they were air breathers but were beautifully adapted to a life at sea and gave birth to live young. This is the full-size model of a Jurassic ichthyosaur that can be seen in the Market Hall Museum in Warwick. You can see how well adapted it was for life as a fast swimmer. Ichthyosaurs fed on fish, shellfish and the squid-like belemnites and were at the top of the food chain. We call this specimen the baby ichthyosaur. It represents a juvenile ichthyosaur, less than a metre in length, found in the old Wilmcote quarries. Plesiosaurs were another type of large marine reptile whose remains were found in the limestone quarries of Warwickshire's Avon Valley. The Wilmcote plesiosaur skeleton is one of the most important specimens to have been found in the quarries. It has been a star exhibit at the Market Hall Museum since it was discovered and excavated in the 19th century. It has attracted the attention of paleontologists from all over the world. This is what our Wilmcote plesiosaur might have looked like when it was alive. In this photo you can see the original location of the Wilmcote plesiosaur on the first floor of the museum. The Wilmcote plesiosaur has been on something of a journey around the museum. After the Second World War, it was displayed horizontally on a ground floor wall before being mounted vertically on a ground floor pillar during the mid 1970s. In late 2015, as part of the Market Hall refurbishment, the Wilmcote plesiosaur skeleton was carefully removed from its mount. It needed conservation work and this was an opportunity for researchers to see the skull close up for the first time in many years. It was also very heavy, making it difficult to re-display according to modern health and safety standards. We commissioned Nigel Larkin, a professional conservator and preparator, to make a cast of the original skeleton. Nigel then constructed a full-sized and detailed replica out of a lightweight resin material for re-display. Today, this magnificent replica can be seen on display on the ground floor of the museum. The original skeleton is now safely back in storage, where researchers are already making new discoveries about the life and times of the Wilmcote plesiosaur. More Jurassic fossils from Warwickshire can be seen in the displays on the first floor of the Market Hall Museum. For more information on Warwickshire fossils and the Market Hall Museum, visit the Our Warwickshire website www.ourwarwickshire.org.uk